that's down to their final strike. No pitch count for the Cardinals. Three two from Gallegos. And he hits it on the ground behind him there. And Arenado will make the sidearm throw. Hobble and sends away. Escobar scores. Kevin took the turn, but he goes back to first. The game continues. Arenado throws her away. It's two to one, and the Mets on the tying run at first base. can happen you never know McNeil 0 for 4 in his career against Gallegos Molina, Molina not behind the plate do you take a chance well, that's an interesting question right Jankowski two steals he's not been caught you know Gallegos is paying him attention and McNeil takes a fastball for a stretch and after all those breaking pitches to Canada First pitch fastball, McNeil. He likes the fastball change up mix to lefties. Fastball breaking ball to the righties. He takes forever to deliver the ball to first base. So their time on him has got to tell Jankowski he can go. Didn't go on the first pitch. Dom Smith is out on deck to bat for Tomas Nito if McNeil can keep this going. That's working with their back against the wall. Time run at first, two out. McNeil rips one in the right field for a base hit. Jankowski on his way to third. Tracking it down is Carlson. Jankowski will be held at third by Joey Cora. It's a double for Jeff McNeil. And the Mets have the tie at lead ones in scoring position with Dom Smith coming up to pinch hit. Big hit for Jeff McNeil. His second double of the night. Lots of swing here, change up right, fastball in, change up away. And McNeil lines it down the right field line. Now Carlson was playing in the right center gap, so it took him forever to get here. And if he had muffed it up at all, Cora was going to send Jankowski. Boy, it had to be a tough decision for Joey Cora. He'd love to send him here if he can. He was flying, hoping to maybe get Cora okay to go. Now watch the swing. Just right on plane on that changeup. Caught it a little off the end, but well placed. Mike Maddox, the pitching coach, out at the mound talking with his closer guy. He goes. Those were his last at bats. Second and third and two out. Mets down a run of the night. turns away from the first pitch fastball and says for a strike. Dom is 0 for 2 in his career against Giovanni Gallegos. It's been a rough start to the season for Dom. The playing time has been sparse. But a chance to make a big impact here with a two-out hit. Second pitch to McNeil after a fastball in was a changeup. Does he throw that pitch or come back with a fastball in? Fastball, this one misses inside. It's a ball and a strike. I think the way Dominic took that first fastball for a strike, he had to come back in. Cardinals get a left hander up in the bullpen. We got another left hand hitter on deck, and Brandon Nimmo. Edwin Diaz getting ready just in case this game goes to the bottom of the ninth. 20 pitches now for Gallegos. Two hits in the inning. The Mets need one more. One and one to Don Smith. Now pulls one over the bag. Goldsmith with a sprawling stop. The race to the bag. And Dom is safe. And two runs score. And the Mets take the lead. Unbelievable. Goldsmith with a great play, but Gallegos slow getting off the mound. And Dom Smith beat him to the bag. Jankowski and McNeil both race home. And the Mets lead it 3 to 2 in the Absolutely unbelievable. Gallegos came back in with the fastball, pulled down the line, took a bad hop on 
Goldschmidt, but he made an unbelievable play, but Kai Eagles was caught spectating, and with the dive by Dominic Smith, his hand beat the foot of Guy Eagles, and what are you taught as a pitcher when runners are on second and third? If you don't make the play at first, you wheel around and look for that runner. Guy Eagles never did that. Sold out on the play. Once it was called safe, he was caught spectating for the second time, and the Mets scored two on it. And McNeil never stopped coming around third. Jankowski came in with a tying run. And once Dom was safe at first base, McNeil was able to cross the plate with the go-ahead run before Guy Eagles realized it and threw it home to Kisner. The Mets rallied for three runs with two out in the top of the ninth to take the lead. And the Cardinals are going to pull their closer and bring in the left-hander to face Randy Nemo. What an incredible turn of events in the ninth. Call to the bullpen brought to you by Nissan. Shop NissanUSA.com. Crashes one down the right field line just inside the foul pole for a two-run homer on the first pitch thrown by T.J. McFarland. This is now a five-run top of the ninth inning, and the Mets lead it five to two. Marlowe brought the left-hander to face Nimmo. His first pitch, Nimmo gets him for a two-run home run. What an inning by the Mets. Five unearned runs with two out of the top of the ninth after Nolan Arenado's throwing error opened the door, the Mets have come crashing through. The veteran over 300 games been far and looked like a little change up in the middle of the plate. We have seen a lot of wild things happen over our years together, Ronnie. Yeah. This is as crazy a ninth inning as we've seen in forever. Spot a few minutes ago. Kisner up for the first time. He's had a good start to the season. He takes up an end for ball one. Is there hitting 318 on the year? He's got a lot of playing time with Molina getting a late start in spring training and then being rested. Not a lot of happy Cardinal fan faces. They don't boo here very much, but there were a few boos when they came off the field in that top of the night. They get sad though. A different kind of sad. It's a Midwest sad. Melancholy? It's not a New York sad. New York sad is a little more volatile. <laughs> Two and out of Kisner with Bader on deck. This one's not done yet, though. There's been enough craziness already. And Kisner taking all the way. Call strike two and one. I mean, Scherzer with a seven sharp innings. McNeil with two doubles. Canna somehow stays alive in the error by Arenado. Smith with the infield hit. I mean, and then Nemo with the insurance with the two on home on the first pitch McFarland throws. Everything breaking right for that Mets in that ninth. That's up and in, and now it's three and one to Kisner. And Diaz a chance to get on that list. And Nemo is third home run of the season. Just to give Edwin some breathing room here in the bottom of the ninth. It's a lot of pitches by Gallegos as well, so what does that mean for him tomorrow? That's a good point. 3-1 coming, and Kisner takes outside, ball four, and the Cardinals have light for the night. A two-out walk. They need one more base runner to get the tying run to bat. Harrison Bader coming up. Bader had a base hit in the two-run eighth inning for St. Louis. That was off Trevor May, who got bailed out by that Mets big night. Bucks trying to tell Don Smith, play behind. Play your regular defensive position. Do not hold the runner on. Run means nothing with a three-run lead. So now Bader, the Bronxville kid, swings and fouls back the first fastball from Diaz. Nothing at one. Bader one for two in his career against Diaz. Kisner takes off, he'll take second on defensive indifference, and now the Cardinals are down to their final strike. Well, this is right where the Mets were at the top of the inning. That's right. Defensive indifference, down to their final strike, 0-2 to Canada before everything broke loose. Diaz trying to put the finishing touches on. Line the other way, foul. <laughs> Bigger may 
making it a bid down the right field side. Still 0-2. If Bader were to keep it alive, Tommy Edmond would be next. Two from Diaz to Bader. He struck him out, and the ball game is over. One to remember for the New York Mets. Five unearned runs with two out of the top of the ninth, and they rallied to defeat the Cardinals five to two after a brilliant pitcher's duel between Max Scherzer and Miles Michaelis. Gary, this is one of those games that uh, you will not be able to wipe the smile off the face of the Mets after this game. You stole this game against a really good ball club, and the good April continues. Against the best defensive team in baseball, the Mets take advantage of an error by one of the best players in Major League history, and they score five runs after two out of the ninth inning. About as unlikely...